Okay, so the way we're going to present this is, uh, of course, it was the Flaming Spear Dream uh, that was given to Dana Coverstone over eight nights, April 11th through the 19th, 2021. And the, uh, the broadcast was done on April the 25th. That's Dana Coverstone's broadcast on April 25th, 2021. And it was decoded by Paula uh, on April 27th, 2021. Um, so the way we're going to do this, you see some highlighted yellow. That is um, Paula's interpretation. Uh, anywhere where it's not um, highlighted, except for these... Um, she did break it into uh, sections uh, and gave them like a chapter name, I guess, or a section name, paragraph name. <clears throat> heading. Heading. There you go. <laughs> I should know that. Um, so the way we're going to do it is I'm going to read uh, Dana's dream and then she'll read the uh, her interpretation. Okay, so we'll kind of be going back and forth, but just know when, she, when Paula's reading, she's reading uh, the highlighted section which is her interpretation of what I've just read, which is Dana Coverstone's dream. Uh, basically, it's the, uh, the transcript of his dream. Mm -hmm. All right, so heading number one is uh, preface. Um, I saw a globe. It was sitting on a stand. No hand touched it or moved it, but it just began spinning on its own and accelerating at a very, very rapid rate, and it began to wobble began to wobble on the stand. Dream starts with a metaphor of its overall theme, that the world events are very unstable and speeding up. The atlas is a reference to the now obsolete atlas ICBM. And heading number two is called the dividing wall. And there were two male runners who appeared on a running track. Think tracking. But this running track was just a straight track. It went on for miles and miles and miles. Indicating the very long distance involved in this particular race. But between the two runners, there was a large wall, probably 20 feet high. Mary's complete 20 decade rosary separating the two adversaries. So they couldn't see each other. They each had a spear. A weapon, because Dana does not refer to it as a javelin. With a fire-like torch on the end that was burning very bright and the flame shot out from the tip. It did not appear as if it was a torch that had fabric wrapped around it. It was just a, pe it was just a sharp piece of metal that was on fire and both runners had it. One was wearing a multicolored outfit like you would see in the Olympics. Multi ethnic Catholics. He was stretching and balancing as preparing to run. The other one was wearing a solid white outfit. Virtue signaling atheist. Like a track outfit, though he was not moving at all. He was standing in place almost without breathing without God, the Holy Spirit. You would have sworn the guy was a mannequin at first. A puppet of the elite. And number three, ready, set, go. A man then appeared standing on the wall above the runners in a very expensive suit jacket, but he was wearing runners shorts underneath and runner shoes. So a very, very strange looking outfit and he carried a starter's pistol. He stands for the elite in high places who are double agents and who have the power to initiate global conflict. And he said to the motionless runner wearing the white, he said, you must pace yourself and win. Pace is NASA's supposed plankton aerosol Cloud Ocean Ecosystem Mission. Think Mushroom Cloud. And at this, the runner simply nodded and cracked his neck. The man in the colorful runner's outfit was not addressed at all. The man then called out, To your mark. Subtle reference 
to V mark. And when he did this, the runner, wearing the multicolored outfit, took a running start and threw the flaming spear in the atmosphere. Just threw it in the air. Uses Mary's offensive weapon of the rosary to implore heavenly help to combat evil. Then he took his place at the line in the runner's blocks. Stationed on the front line of battle. The previously motionless man moved into position, but did not get down to the blocks, almost not an official start in that sense. No official declaration of war, so a surprise attack. But he leaned down and he tapped the end of the spear in the ground. Seeking occult power. And then he spit on the flame. Ejected a deadly missile. And it exploded. It exploded to the point that his hair caught on fire, but he was not hurt. His hair was burning like a burning bush, but he was not hurt. The phrase burning bush has a double meaning. Exodus, desert, slash, refuges, and two, Bush father and son presidents who were warmongers. Also, the twice spoken phrase, he was not hurt, indicates the two Bush presidents were held harmless for being war hawks. And the man called Reddy. The word, that word harkens back to the ready or not dream. Then he fired the pistol. Elites trigger the war, putting everyone under the gun. And then two men took off. Now one, the multicolored man, ran very, very quickly and very determined. Lively hair. The fiery man just took off at a jog lazy tortoise and because of the wall between them neither man could see the other the wall represents the enmities referred to in genesis 3:15. both men are running the race but have nothing to do with each other directly and heading number four the bloody calendar then i saw a bright crimson red calendar calendars were very prominent in Dana's first prophetic dreams. With crisp white letters that had a thick black outline on the letters, so they stood out. They were shadowed. Communism, atheism. And I saw May 2021. War begins in May to mock Mary, Queen of Peace and two hands like this, and he demonstrates by placing his clenched hands together, knuckles up, alternately rolling them, like how your hands will kind of unleash something. Two fisted hands ready to unleash war. And these two hands were unrolling, holding on to this blood covered calendar, and they were rolling it out and down. And I saw June, July, August, and September, they were unrolled and they hung below May and September was touching the ground. So he's standing here like this and he demonstrates with the calendar in his hands, bloody, bloody hands and the calendars all the way down to the ground from May to September and September is touching the ground. The description of September touching the ground is repeated to stress that the whole world will be laid low by WW3 by that time. <clears throat> Heading number five, the world watches American turmoil. Then the scene changed to a map of Europe and it went through Russia, China, down to the Middle East, the Mediterranean, Israel, was seemingly over, also overemphasized on this map. I saw leaders in Russia, China, Israel, Western Europe. These were modern leaders. And they had these high-powered binoculars. And they were watching the United States. Using advanced technology, they were studying from afar the state of the United States. 
and they were telling individuals to write down the things that they were seeing. They were getting excited. They were pumping fists in the air, patting each other on the backs, and they were waving their nation's flags feverishly. I saw military leadership in the rooms and the leaders were whispering in their ears and they would get on the f on a phone and whisper as well. Those world leaders secretly give orders to their military commanders who in turn secretly pass on the orders to their subordinates. This also points to their planning a surprise attack. And I could then see blood dripping down onto the calendar from those hands that were holding. It was going all the way to September. Then I saw fires all over America and I saw cities on lockdown. Mayhem. And I saw flags that were at half mast. Murder. And they began to fade into smoke. Patriotism was vanishing. And there were many American military groups on the ground directing traffic and keeping a close watch on the streets. Martial Law Number six, the trails of the two runners. And then I saw the colorful runner running very hard and his hands were on the wall the entire time and just brushing it. The watchman on the wall constantly fingering the rosary in prayer. So as he's running very hard, his hands against that wall, he and he was saying, wake up, wake them up, wake them up. Personally warning others, also begging heaven to spiritually awaken people. And he kept his eye on the spear, he thrown that was above him, heading in the direction, almost like he was following the spear. Praying to discern the will of God. And the runner in white was now a dingy gray. It had gone from white to dingy gray and the white was completely gone from his jersey. There's that gray again from Dana's other dreams. The opponent's true color is showing. His hand was also on the wall, but it was leaving a trail of fire that followed him as he ran. The colorful runner was weary and was sweating profusely, appeared several times to almost trip and fall. Fall into temptation to give up. But he recovered and he kept going through the running, but he was breathing with great difficulty. He was very tired. Dana's dreams often portray Christians as persevering to the point of exhaustion in their spiritual battle against evil. The jogging runner was smirking and taking his time. Smug and overconfident. And now he was fully engulfed. A reference to the Gulf War under Bush Sr. In fire and was spreading. It was spreading to the place for his gray jersey was now just a flaming red, almost looked like somebody running with a fire around him. Infernal and then started running as fast as he possibly could and was making it. He was kind of catching up to the colorful runner. However, he kept his eye on the spear that he had thrown. He has now launched a missile. And was still in the air. It was heading towards the building. The guy had thrown the spear and he's keeping his eye on the spear. He's running as hard and fast as he can because he knows he's running out of time. He's trying to get going. He's watching that spear. Tracking the missile. And that spear was headed towards uh, the building. USA, a nation of God-fearing Christians. That seemed to be filled with people who were on their knees and they were praying loudly. In vocal supplication not in praise because they would have been standing otherwise. And both runners kept moving with one spilling fire all the way along that wall. It's almost like a trail of fire behind him. Everything he touched was fiery. Hellfire follows in his wake. And the other runner was now screaming as loud as he could, wake up, wake up. 
Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Constantly. He never stopped screaming. Wake up. Shouted a total of six times, indicating an urgent warning of grave evil. This alarm could be sounded by civil defense sirens continuously going off throughout America as aerial weapons are about to strike. And <clears throat> number seven, great expectations. Then I saw American generals in a facility that was obviously underground. Nuclear bunker. And I saw many phone calls that were coming in on rotary phones. Rotary means turning on an axis, which also means an alliance of powers such as nations. I saw the curly Q. Some of you will know what I'm talking about, the curly Q cords. Outdated equipment still in bunkers from the Cold War. No, both the Gulf War and the Cold War ended in 1991. Those numbers add up to 20. Presumably, the Rosary ended those conflicts. They were coming in on rotary phones, and as the generals answered them, they were telling others the position numbers on a very large map of both the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Tracking nuclear aircraft and or submarines, because Dana does not mention ships. And it was frantic in that room. People were obviously in a state of panic, running here and there very, very quickly. This ties back to the opening of this dream, the rapidly spinning globe that began to wobble. And I could then see world leaders in Europe, Russia, and Israel, modern day leaders, talking with each other with great passion, great concern on their faces. Their faces revealed that these were very, very important things they were discussing. And then this word was spoken. It might be our time. It kept being spoken by the leaders as they watched the fires burning over America. Discussing whether to strike America while it is internally weakened. Number eight, warning and aftermath. Then the spear thrown by that first runner hit the building. USA. It was aiming for. Praying for. And it exploded into a bright light. The pray for warning. And it streamed down over the entire country. And it looked like a napalm storm. If you've seen those videos of us dropping bombs during the Vietnam War there in Vietnam. So it looked like a napalm, something filled the atmosphere of the United States. Napalm is partially made from palm oil. Think Palm Sunday, our Lord's triumphant entry. And as the fire from that building spread, it was putting out some of the fires in the United States. It lessened some, and some it had no impact at all. Some of those fires kept burning. Some citizens were converted as a result of the warning but others were not. And then I saw that explosion had actually thrown people all over the place. The people who were praying in that building were now, they were just thrown up in the air. Communications via satellite. To these areas of the nation, and these people, the thrown people all over the country, they had fire extinguishers and brooms, and they were patting down the fires. They were screaming. As they were patting down those fires, they were screaming, just like the colorful running man. They were screaming, wake up, stay awake. There's not much time. Wake up, stay awake. There's not much time. They kept repeating that. Wake up, stay awake. There's not much time. Warning citizens of an impending WW3, which would cause the AC to be presented as God's savior and which would eventually lead to the mandated mark worldwide. Number nine, the Son of God. And the colorful runners then sat down and leaned against the wall and took a deep breath. Received the Holy Spirit. He was just on the other side of the finish line and the man that I see often in the dreams was helping him to his feet. Divine support of the faithful 
further efforts. And the fiery runner was laying past the finish line too and was smoking like a burnt building. No longer fiery, but smoldering. He was not moving and was not breathing. The puppet was expendable, but he had finished his task of ushering in WW3's death and destruction. And the man pointed at me and he said, Warn them, there's not much time left and it will never be easy again. The time of convenience and ease is over. Ahead are years of deprivation and struggle. If you're not braced now, praying, you won't make it, not rooted. The parable of the sower. You will be pulled up, pulled out, and the fire will never go out. The unquenchable fire of hell, damnation. Look for me and endure until I come. Watch for the Lord and persevere until his second coming. And the last uh, heading epilogue. And one other thing that's different about this dream is, usually after the man speaks to me in the dream, that's it. But I had another small piece, and this was Monday night. I then saw every one of those international leaders and American generals put down their phones at the very, very, very same time. And in unison, all at once they said, it's time, it's time. Then they all, <clears throat> then they all sat, every single, the leaders, the military, they all sat at their desks and they put their heads in their hands like this and they began to weep. For they all knew that World War III was irrevocably upon them and that its inevitable death and destruction would be nothing short of a global cataclysm. Okay. I'd like to read the Gospels. Sure. Mark. Mark 4, in reference to the parable of the sower. And those likewise who are sown on the rocky ground are they who, when they have heard the word, receive it immediately with joy, and, and they have no root in themselves, but continue only for a time. And then, when trouble and persecution come because of the word, they at once fall away. The second reference is to the fire that will never go out. Mark 9, this particular scripture is repeated three times, 43, verse 45, and 47, where their worm dies not and the fire is not quenched. Okay, so the next uh, part here, and this I may need to make a little bit smaller here, because um, it's just not going to fit all mm -hmm. in one <clears throat> so what we have here is a uh, a chart um, where Paula was uh, I believe she pulled out 50 words uh, from the dream from Dana Coverstone's dream the spearing the flaming spear dream and she was uh, sort of checking uh, how many times in a current the word occurs in the dream uh, using sacred numerology um, so it's all, and again, you can download this yourself. Uh, it's all part of one PDF uh, where I showed you on my uh, Rosary WMD in the About section. Um, but you can see she's got them um, in alphabetical order, starting with the word air and then working all the way down. I don't know if you want me to read all the words and, and how much you want me to explain of this. Well, if you'd like, I can take it from here. You okay. Did excellent. So thank you so okay. much. Okay. No problem. You read the I, whole. I have it dream. showing at the Beautiful. top. I can't really show it uh, all at once. That's um, okay. Um, if you want, you can just scroll down the words so people can see all the words. Let me um, enter full screen here, and that might be able to give it to me a little bit bigger. Well, if you, if you enter the full screen, I'll just read them out loud. Okay, let me go minus one more. Okay, so they should be able to see it now, uh, the yeah. whole thing. Yep, okay. yep. 
Okay, so the words alphabetically. Um, and I, before I started the word list, I just was inspired by the Holy Spirit that I would come up with 50. Now, in my last decode, I, I only had, let's see, and I did, I did this um, spreadsheet um, instead of horizontally. I did it vertically because I knew I was going to come up with so many other words. But I don't know how many total words I had there. Um, oh, I had a total. I, I, I'm not sure. I didn't count them. I counted them differently. Ignore that. Um, so the words are, so in fact, I very easily came up with 50, and then I went over the dream again, and no, 50 was pretty much it. There, were, there, were, there weren't any major players that I had missed. Air, blocks, blood, breath, building, burn, color, down, explode or explosion, I, fast, fire or fiery, flame or flaming, generals, globe, gray, ground, hand, hard, headed or heading, jersey, jog, leaders, light, man, map, moving, out, bone, praying, red, rolling or rolled, Run, runner, or running, sat, screaming, spear, spread, stand, start, thrown, time, t torch, track, trail, up, bury, wake, wall, watch, watcher, or watching, and white. And when I made this list, um, you know, I tried to break down the words as best I could, like explode, explosion, head, headed, heading. You know, I tried to incorporate them as like one unit, you know, if they were close enough together. Um, and um, people, all I can say is you need to look at this chart, that you need to look at this spreadsheet. First of all, I want to say thank you with all my heart and soul to Scott Fox for teaching us how to learn sacred numerology and how to use it to understand what God is trying to tell us in these end times. So my hat is off to him. If it wasn't for him, I would not have been inspired to do this. This spreadsheet is nothing short of awesome I do not claim credit for this. The Holy Spirit gave this to me. And if you will study and look at how things add up, when I had my computer add up the numbers and I saw what the totals were, I was totally speechless. I was, I was shocked. And if you study it, you, you will be equally astonished. Yeah, it's this amazing. dream of Dana's is unbelievable. And it's talking to us right now. This is going to be the year. This week is going to be the week, and this year is going to be the year. Mm -hmm. And I thank you very much, Kyle. I don't want to labor this it's already getting late people people have lives um so uh again do download it and uh study it it's, well, it's absolutely amazing definitely you, take Kyle. a look here at the bottom i mean just the uh the number of items of course 50 adds up to 50 and then the the word occurs uh you know how many times um adds all up to 315 i mean it's amazing um, here Amazing. I'm looking at run, runner, running adds up. To, uh, it was used 32 times. And we know 32 is such an important number, um, being uh, placing God uh, before man. Um, just really fascinating thank, to look at this chart. Thank you for pointing that out, Kyle. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no yes, problem. It, the, these, this chart, it just... F <laughs> fire and fiery 
I don't think it's a coincidence that it's 18 times. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, 18 is 6 plus 6, six, six plus six. 6. So uh, this is so amazing. And thank you yes. for, Paula, I know you took a lot of time in the, into doing this. This is not something easy to put together and uh, you no, didn't just took, rush through this it. This took like two full days. Yeah. This took like two full days and I was working on it. I could only work on it so long and then I had to walk away from it because I was because I wasn't getting anywhere. So I was mm -hmm. like, I'll just walk away. I know, you know, have a life and do what I'm supposed to do to be true to my state, to the state in life. And then I would come right back and we'd do something else and then I would come right back and I would just dive in again. And it was really, it was two straight days and it was late, late, late hours. You know, I always say it's blood, sweat, tears and baggy eyes. <laughs> yeah, and, and everyone also, if you have not downloaded Angel Gabriel School of Sacred Numerology, the PowerPoint that's in the same about section on Mary's Battle Beads, you need to download it because if you don't know what these numbers mean in sacred numerology, for example, one is God the Father, two represents mankind, three the Trinity, four end times, five's Mary. Um, you know, I'm looking here, five Mary in phone. Uh, you know, I, I think of the rosary as like my little phone to, to Mary and right. Jesus, you know? Right, and it's no charge. <laughs> yeah, no charge, exactly. <laughs> Um, so you don't have to get it updated, <laughs> right? You don't, your battery doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know we have burn here with six times. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing here. Right. I mean, at base value, you're just like, oh, it's just a chart. But honey, you really need to study it because it will blow your mind. Yeah. And um, I, when I did the. Um, rats in the sewer um decode and i i, I was just going to do the decode but when i did the decode i was like god so many of these words are repeating and it was like i wonder what that would look like on a spreadsheet well that was god the holy spirit inspiring mm -hmm. me let's give yeah. it a try see if you can do something you know with sacred numerology and see how many times the numbers i just knew that i had to count how many occurrences of each word and then I was like, well, how many times do those words occur? And how many, <laughs> yeah. you know, and I was just playing with it. I was just letting the Holy Spirit, he, the Holy Spirit was saying to me, come on and play with me. And I was like, okay. And I was just <laughs> like, okay, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. But yeah, okay, I'll just do this. And, and then when I got all the numbers that I got, all the Mary numbers at the end, I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, that was, that's quite amazing. What a confirmation, too. Um, same and, way when I when, and, when Scott encouraged you know, I, me. I've done a lot of spreadsheets in my career, so the Holy Spirit knew when he, you know, sicked me on this, that I would enjoy it. And that, that it would, you know, it would be just as much fun as it was work. 